Hannah, can you say hi? Good morning. Don't the no, go kisses. <laughs> You have a kiss? Oh. Good morning from Anguilla. I feel like people watching these should be able to know how much fun we've been having by how tired we look. So yeah, Anguilla, lots of we fun. We like you because we look like this. YouTube baby. Like what? <laughs> so we're here in Anguilla. And loving life. We flew in, well we didn't fly in here, we flew into St. Martin, because that's where we're usually flying to. We stayed one night there at the Sinesta, uh, and then took a little boat over. So if you look at St. Martin from above, then there's this little beach right at the base of the airport runway. And people will go to this beach and watch these giant airplanes fly right over you. Really cool. There's two things. You can watch a plane land, right over the beach, or a plane will pull up right by the beach and then take off. First experience, we got to the beach and a plane was about to take off. So I was like, oh cool, I'll hold Dorothy, Jess, you watch Manila, and we're gonna show them this cool thing. The jets start and sand just starts blasting us. It hurts so bad. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not fun. <laughs> feet over your head? It's the only way to explain what it's like to be that close to a plane is like being in the water with a humpback whale. That's the only way to so, really understand what it's like to be that close to a flying plane. So now you know what it's like to be in the water. <laughs> no. So we took a little boat over to Anguilla. Quick little ride, about 20 minutes. Here we're staying at a gorgeous place called Viceroy. gorgeous sunsets, um, amazing pools, amazing staff, really great gym, and awesome kids club. Wait, that's the first reason? Oh, why can't I just like rattle them all together? Here's the first basket of reasons. <laughs> but no, the best thing that we loved about it is having a kids club. Dorothy, every morning, we go to breakfast, and then we take her over to this kids club where she can play until her heart's content. Tons and tons of toys and games and crafts and activities. The first day she did a little treasure hunt and then the other day she made a craft and then, and then one day she was there for quite a while because Garrett and I went scuba diving that day and we come back and she's got necklaces and a bracelet and her hair braided with beads and like we came back after a few hours and she was just kind of like oh hey check me out and we're like you ready to go? She's like no. <laughs> So we've been to some islands with clear water. We've been to some islands with beautiful land. But Anguilla takes the cake when it comes to colors. Am I right? Mm -hmm. The colors from the white sand. The gradients. To the clear break. Mm -hmm. To the turquoise blue shallows. To the deep blue deeps. Yeah. Anguilla wins that one. 
Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this you crazy mother. <laughs> you know, that's the one. <laughs> one day we were able to go out and go scuba diving mm. together, which was really fun. And we get in the water. Oh, we did a wreck dive. And we've never done a wreck dive before. We've dove, we've dove a bunch. We did. We dove. <laughs> Warning to everyone out there who uses a GoPro. If you use the GoPro Session, their new guy, it does not work scuba diving because the button is made of rubber. And when you get down deep enough, probably like anything more than 20 feet deep. It just has too much pressure on it and pushes it and holds it down. And because it has a one button rubber system, it just doesn't work super bad. So we get in the water for the Shrek dive. I'm so excited to capture it. Boom, GoPro stops working. Don't capture it. So let's just kind of So take our explain. word for it. This is what it was like. Let's paint the picture for you. We go down, we see two beautiful eagle rays, and all of a sudden there's this giant sunken ship. And it was cool. It was cool to like go inside. Jess didn't like to go inside, so it was cool that I could like scuba dive, swim inside a room, look out a window, and Jess is like on the outside of the boat, and I'm like going through the hallways. It was way cool. You make me sound like a wuss though for not going inside. You didn't when go in inside. fact, <laughs> no, this is Garrett's wait. wuss story. And that was a shipwreck and a story. <laughs> Good story. No, I need to figure out what it's called. We'll We'll put a picture of it here. I know what it's called. What's it called? The killer, <laughs> poisonous, spider crab. Of spider crab nightmare. So I'm scuba diving, and I turn around and look at Garrett, and he's looking at our guide and makes this face like, "What does she have in no, her hand?" No, my face was like this. No. <laughs> so I turn around, and our guide is holding just like this little. I think you want to. Anyway, that's the our guide is holding <laughs> this little spider in her hands. It's like a giant crab slash daddy long legs. And she's just playing with it. And so I was like, oh, I'll hold it. And so I take it and I'm holding it and it's kind of crawling all over. It's creepy, but whatever. And then she takes it back and then she <laughs> tries to pass it to Garrett and he was like... <laughs> no, I went like this. I went... Just kidding. Babe. <laughs> Thank you. To Shoals Diving, thank you to Pinky, and thank you to Najee. You guys are great. Uh, hopefully we'll be back, and hopefully we'll be back with a better GoPro. Sorry about that one, guys. My bad. <laughs> Something that we've been super duper impressed with here is the food. Mm. Especially for being such a remote island, 
where mm -hmm. almost everything is imported. Um, they've done a really good yeah, job with their They're food. dining a game. So we've eaten at some really awesome restaurants, including Koba Restaurant here at the Viceroy. A great stop is Picante's Restaurant, a Mexican place that was like two seconds from our resort. And we've eaten at Blanchard's, which we'll be back to for sure. Yeah, Blanchard's is awesome because it's just right on the beach. It's super chill. You order your food and then, it, you know, it's... What? Well, right to you. <laughs> this is so unique. <laughs> no, it's like, it's not a sit-down waitress <laughs> service style. What do you call it? Yeah, you go up to Blanchard's shack, you tell them what you want, and they bring it to you. That's where we've eaten so far, but I know there's so many more that will probably be next week because we're going to be here for two. So definitely at the top of the big long list of reasons to come to Anguilla, the dining. This will be probably our greatest memory and for sure Dorothy's greatest memory, which was mermaid school. Uh. Mermaid School International and the Mermaid Chef. Very official. We go to Mermaid School, which is just here at our resort. Here it comes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? That's Minan. So, we take. Oh my gosh, so He honestly dropped something. What did you say? What, Alright, one second. So yesterday, we took a boat out to Sandy Island, which was pretty rad. And we all got on this boat and cruised over to this tiny little sandy Small oasis. Small island, it's like this big. So we get on, there's just a palm trees and like a shack and then a bunch of like beach chairs and stuff. And we had like an awesome, awesome lunch. And then we just kind of chilled and snorkeled around and played in the sand. So we take the boat back to shore. And this was the best part. Manil, we tried to give Manila a nap before we left. And he just kind of chatted to himself in his crib for a while. So he was exhausted when we come home. And these, I don't know why these videos are like so entertaining. But Manila was biting it. He did not want to fall asleep. And the whole boat was watching him just do that. Yeah, the whole boat. <laughs> and so, for the first time ever, Manila fell asleep on the go. In your arms. He's fallen asleep on a plane. He's fallen asleep in a car. He hasn't fallen asleep though like that. Never just like in someone's arms, like out and about. So, for the first time ever. Win. Thank you, Sandy's Island. You did that. So yeah, so we're here at Anguilla for another week. So we got plenty of adventures and more things to tell you about, but we are off today and we're gonna go get breakfast. All right, thanks guys. Get ready for this view. Quick note, when I flip the camera around and go outside onto our balcony, two things you should notice is a hanging bed and our own little hot tub pool. See you guys. <laughs>